What is going on, y'all? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. As you guys can tell, we're at a lake today, but we're not at a lake in Colorado. I actually came home for a few days just to visit my family. It's been probably about a year and a half since I've seen them. So I flew home for just a couple of days. So we're back in New York, back on Long Island. It feels great. I'm super excited to be back. And uh, I couldn't wait to get back out to my favorite body of water and go do some fishing. Now, the only issue with me flying out here is I don't actually have a lot of my tackle or all of my fishing stuff. Like 95% of my rods are all back in Colorado. They're all back at my apartment where I live now. And I don't have any baits whatsoever. I have absolutely no soft plastics, no hard baits, no terminal tackle, absolutely nothing. But it just so happens the day before I left, my Bass Baits Monthly Box for the month of May got in. So we're gonna see if there's anything in here that we can crack into and see if we can catch a couple of fish. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing over here on this lovely piece of wood. And then we're gonna get some stuff tied up and see if we can get after some fish. But yeah, I'm super jazzed. There's largemouth in here, there's pickerel, there's a bunch of different species of bluegill. Might run across a snapping turtle today or a snake or something. I don't really know. We're just gonna get after it and see what we can do. So yeah, I'm gonna get y'all set up over here real quick and we're gonna get right into the box. I think that looks good. All right, y'all, so uh, we're gonna get into the box real fast, but before that, I just wanna tell you guys something real quick. Super exciting. So as you guys who've been around the channel for a little bit, sorry, I just got kind of lean. my opinion, Bass Baits Monthly is the best tackle subscription box on the market. Uh, the reason being is because they don't send you any sample packs, they don't send you any like knockoff stuff that they rebranded or bought from China super cheap and just threw some fancy packaging on. You're only going to get tried and true baits. Every single one of the baits in this box have been tested by people. Uh, over at Bass Baits Monthly, they go out and make sure they fish with every single one of the baits in the box before they send it to you so you, they know they're not sending you some garbage. But the really cool thing is if you guys want to try Bass Baits Monthly, they were nice enough to reach out to me and give me a code for you guys if you guys want to give it a shot. So if you guys haven't subscribed to Bass Baits Monthly, you want to try it out, you guys can use this code right here, BBM Spice, and you can save 20% on your first box. I'm super excited to be working with a company like Bass Baits Monthly and really excited to give you guys the opportunity to try them out for a little bit cheaper. So again, if you guys want to give it a shot, BBM Spice, it'll be down in the description for you guys to go check out if you want to. You don't have to, obviously, but if you guys want to help me out a little bit, support the channel and support the companies that support us, then just go down below and give it a shot. Woo! Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, boy. God dang it. Well, <laughs> one of my shoes is super wet now, but uh, we're going to get into the unboxing room. Gonna go through these super fast and uh, then we'll get some stuff tied up and get to fishing. So first up in the box you always get one of these cards. Uh, they always have like a knot tutorial on them. Also they uh, have their information on the back so if you guys want to try it, catch a fish on any of the baits in the box, you can send them the picture, tag them in it, and they'll repost you, show you some love just like they show me. We also got a uh, Bass Baits Monthly sticker in here. This one's a little bit different. It's just a little spinning rod with the Bass Baits Monthly on top. Looks super sweet. Definitely gonna have to stick that on a laptop or Maybe my car or something, I don't know. Ooh, we got some bangers in here today, folks. All right, so we got, looks like three top waters? Yeah, three top waters. We got a Sanford Bates Boom Boom Frog. This is the Mud Bug Frog. Yeah, Mud Bug Frog color, uh, just like a natural brown on the bottom. Kind of like a bullfrog look on the back, super sweet. We also got a Wake Bull by Berkeley Fishing. So this is like a wake bait, uh, very similar to a shallow diving crankbait, but stays right along the top of the water. And that's gonna be a super natural bluegill color, which works absolutely killer. I don't know if we're gonna be throwing a lot of top water right now, cause it's the middle of the day, but uh, hopefully if we can get out and do some more fishing later this week, we'll be able to bust this thing out and see if we can get some teeth marks on it. We also got a black Santone buzzbait. Always a great summertime lure. I don't throw a ton of buzzbaits, but I'm really looking forward to get into it some more this year. I picked up a couple recently and we're gonna have to add this one to the arsenal, see if we can get bet on it. Next up, we got a Spro Mike McClelland Rock Crawler MD55. So these are just like medium diving, that's four to eight feet. Uh, just like a little medium diving crankbait. Probably, again, not gonna be super great for here. This is a very shallow pond and there's a ton of grass in it. So anything with treble hooks is gonna be kind of hard to fish, but a really great bait, especially in the early spring. I hear these work super, super well. And this is in the spring crawl color. So just kind of like a bright chartreuse on the side. We got a pack of Gamakatsu G-Lock worm hooks here. This will be great for throwing on these soft plastics that we have in the box on. And uh, speaking of, we'll actually get into the soft plastics. We 
we got some of these power bait power hogs in the June bug color, I think. Yeah, June bug. So these are just like just a little like brush hog style lure. I don't throw this style of lure a whole lot, but uh, we're definitely gonna have to tie it on today and see if we can get some fish just hanging up in the shallows around some of these grass beds with it. The water here is relatively clear, so uh, black and blue or June bug is not gonna be my prime pick. But the nice thing about black and blue June bug is they work in just about any water clarity. So I'm sure we'll still be able to get some fish on these. And last up in the box, we got a black and blue easy swimmer by Gambler. It's just a big swim bait. Uh, I believe they're four and a half inches, maybe five inches. Really sweet looking swim bait. I really like these. I throw them around quite a bit. Uh, these would work really well as like a trailer for the buzz bait, or you could just throw them standalone on like a, a weightless Texas rig or a lightly weighted belly weighted swim bait hook. And this is probably what I'm going to be focusing most of the time on today. Uh, they eat a lot of bluegill in here, a lot of like small bait fish. So I think a swim bait is probably going to be the way to go. But yeah, that's what we got in this month's box. Uh, we're going to get some of this stuff tied on to the couple of rods that I have with me and we're going to get after it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All right, y'all, here's what we're working with today. I got one casting setup and one spinning setup. This casting setup was a seven foot medium heavy. Now it's like a six, six. I broke the tip off. So I'm sure we'll probably run along that a little bit and fray up my line, break off on a big fish. I'm probably going to throw the uh, swim baits on this. I did actually find a couple of those weedless swim bait hooks just laying around in the garage back home. So I brought a couple of those and I also brought some uh, little tiny dusty ass weights for the Texas rig that I'm going to tie up on the spinning rod. So yeah, we're going to tie these on the casting rod uh, with one of those swim bait hooks. And then I got those little weights and those gamakatsu hooks that came in the box. And we will rig these up on our spinning combo and we'll see if we can get us some fish today. I think between these two, the bottom bait and the moving bait, we should be able to make something work. Again, not the optimal colors in my opinion for this water clarity. Uh, it's very clear here, but I honestly think that they should work relatively well regardless. Plus, even though the uh, swim bait itself is black and blue, it's still a pretty natural presentation and they have a nice natural uh, swimming motion to them as well. All right, here we go. Let's get her done, folks. First cast back in New York. So what I'm trying to do with this is let it go all the way down to the bottom, which isn't too far. It's like three foot or so out there. And uh, just slow rolling it just over the top of the grass. Giving it a couple of pops every once in a while. Just in case I get stuck in something. And uh, you know, just slow rolling, chilling. Probably start here and then work our way down to my left towards the deeper water at the dam. Deeper is obviously a relative term out here. This lake doesn't get more than like nine foot deep, I don't think. Which is kind of surprising. It's a good sized body of water, but you, you would think it would get a little bit deeper. And originally when they built this thing, actually, they built it. So it's supposed to be about 15 foot deeper than it is right now. But because the whole bottom is sand, essentially, uh, the water just kind of seeps through and goes back down into the water. <laughs> So they can't, they, it literally will not fill off much past this. It'll go up to the trees a little bit, but it won't fill off anything past that. I'm gonna try my best to keep my back to the wind as much as possible, because I know the audio with the wind going in your face is just terrible for you guys. So I apologize for any wind noise. Can't really do much about it. Should get one of those little wind socks. Ah, the sounds of nature. Bunch of kids street racing out there. Love it. Ain't nothing like fishing in New York. <laughs> and they're going hard over there. There's a police station right over there. Why are you racing on that road? Like, not only is it not a good road to be racing on, it's got a bunch of blind curves and crap, but there's a police station right there. I don't know. Not my first spot to be racing. All right, so there is one more point down there. I don't think we're gonna walk all the way down there though. Especially if we're gonna go down to the dam, because that's probably half a mile that way. So, you know. 
probably not the best use of our time especially because i got to be home by five so i can cook dinner for the family It is. I got a fish. I got one. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's a nice fish. Holy crap. Oh, that's a really nice fish. Jesus. Get in here, buddy. That's a bass for sure. Oh, yeah. First fish of the day. First fish on Long Island. I'm skiing them in, but it's a good fish. What is that? Is that a pike or a pick? Oh, my God. That's a giant bass. Get up on the bank, baby. That is a stud. Oh my god, I just caught a giant. I just caught an absolute giant. What? This is like a almost a four pounder. That is a big freaking fish. Let's go, baby. Dude, he choked that gambler. Absolutely gone. Woo! Let's go, baby. Whew, there we go. Shout out to my dad for the pink pliers. Appreciate it, Pops. Hell yeah. That's a good fish. I kind of mad that I didn't bring my scale with me. I didn't think I was going to catch anything big, but here we go. Oh, I'm definitely getting wet here. Whatever. It doesn't even matter at this point. All right, big mama. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You good? There she goes. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that. I try to get an underwater shot of the release for you guys. I hope that turned out okay. It's the first time I actually tried to get an underwater shot with a GoPro, so we'll see how that worked out. But first fish of the day on that Gambler Easy Swimmer. He absolutely slaughtered it. And what was weird is I was on my phone and I just let it sink essentially. So I'm gonna try and do that again see if they're eating it on the fall or on the bottom or what the deal is that was crazy Whew, all right only been around here for like 15 minutes that is awesome again not expecting a fish that big today but i will certainly take it oh she swam off healthy and strong too I was a little bit worried. I had her out of the water for a couple of minutes. I did give her a drink or two in between that, but you can never be sh too sure with fish. They are kind of finicky when it comes to health problems from time to time. Let's see if we can find ourselves another one. I also want to apologize for that awful landing job. I didn't want to like run up to it and try and grab him because I didn't know how well he was hooked. I just kind of wanted to get that fish up on the bank. So that's why I uh, kind of drug him up. Dragged him up? Drug him up? I don't know what the correct terminology would be for that. But but she did get off strong. She did swim away strong. So I, I know I didn't cause any damage to her. And I wouldn't have dragged her up on anything if it wasn't soft. Like we're on sand right now. I'm not really worried about a fish being injured if I pull it on some sand considering, you know, well, A, bass are pretty tough because, you know, they have to do the whole spawning thing where they're kicking rocks and stuff around. So they can take a little bit of a beating. And on top of that, I just, you know, wanted to get it up on the bank. <laughs> I didn't want to lose that fish. It was a nice one. All right, well, I guess I'll be keeping this swim bait in my hand for the rest of the day, probably. That's what happens. You give me a swim bait or a chatter bait or a swim jig and I will not put it down. Sorry, Bass Baits Monthly. Should have known what you were signing up for. You know I have a problem with chatter baits, so I, I don't know if you expected me to have a different reaction when you send me a nice swim bait like that, but obviously I'm going to throw the crap out of it. Man, I don't know how I used to fish with this rod. Even when it had the full tip on it, it's so nonsensitive or insensitive, unsensitive. Insensitive is me towards my ex-girlfriend. It is not sensitive. I, 
I mean, it was a very inexpensive rod. I think the whole it came as a combo. So, oh, I got bit. Oh, I think he dropped it. Oh, he's got it. Picked it up again. Another one. Another bass, not as big, but another one. Always fun. Just water ski him in. Got to love it. Little guy. But again, victim to the swim bait. Epic. Ew, he's like got some some stuff going on down there. You guys see that mucus? Yeah, I think I'm gonna just let him go real quick. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Alright. Two bass off this point. Good stuff. Got to love it. Messed up my swim bait just a hair, so let me fix this real quick. And then I'm going to give it, well, every time I say I'm going to give it five more casts, I get bit, so I don't know, five more casts. <laughs> but I think we will move down a little bit further. So I do want to try and get a bite on that uh, the little power bait hog thing. And I think I know the perfect place to do it at this pond, lake, impoundment, whatever you want to call it. All right, we've made it to the dam section, folks. This is the deepest part of the lake. I think it maxes out at like eight and a half feet right there. So really, really deep. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get over here, set up along this little decrepit thing. I don't know what it is, but it's a, it's a thing. It's got some, some dicks drawn on it in classic New York fashion. The reason I wanted to come over here was, well, A, it's pretty much completely out of the wind. It's the most protected spot on the entire pond right now. But also, this little thing here, for whatever reason, always has fish on it. So I'm gonna tie on another one of those power hogs and uh, we're gonna see if we can get bit over here. And if not, then we're going back to the swim bait and we're gonna work our way back to the place that I parked at. <laughs> Probably just hit the points on the way down and call it an easy day. All right, got the little power hog rigged up. I'm gonna kind of fish my way around this little area to see if we can find ourselves another fish. A lot of the time these fish will kind of hang up around this little uh, stone area. I don't really know what it is, but it's like a, a drain, I guess. It goes down to the next pond down and uh, just kind of filters water through that one. But for whatever reason, they seem to like to stack up at the end for them. Usually fish like current going the other way, but I don't know. Always had good luck over here, so figured we'd give it a shot. See if we can't find ourselves another one. And if not, oh, that's a fish. I just got bit right there. Oh, just some grass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna fish around this little area with this little power hog. Kind of fish these little things on both sides. Also gonna fish down that way just a little bit. I don't wanna go too far that way because my car is like somewhere down that way or my dad's car is on my car. But I, I gotta go head back that way at some point. And I only have another, I wanna say two hours of fishing. Yeah, about two hours. So, we'll see if we can make something happen out here. Alright, I've had enough crawl on the bottom bait. Let's pick this one bait back up and see what we can do. I didn't even last like 15 minutes. Probably gave this thing like 10 casts. I was like, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna let this sink all the way because those first two bites, like I said, I got them on the initial fall, so I might just be kind of looking for that bait to be going up and down. Not super erratic, not super fast, just like enough to get their attention. And then when it falls, I think they're taking that opportunity to eat it. Like it's a dying fish falling back down to the bottom and they just swoop in for the kill. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bite. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. Dang it. Definitely got bit over there, though. I was guaranteed a bite. Felt like a pickerel, too. The bass in here will usually just kind of grab it and swim with it. But the pickerel in here will go pop, 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 and you'll feel them like just truck your lure. Especially top water, because they will murder a top water up here. I've actually had to uh, put a couple of pike down because they literally start digesting my whopper plopper before. So, you know, they are voracious and they love stuff that moves. I got munched there. Oh yeah, that was a pickerel for sure. Took my tail. Yep, you can see the little bite marks and stuff in it too. Shame, shame. I feel like there's probably a ton of them just hanging out in this grass somewhere, but it'd be cool to catch one. Again, I haven't caught one of those in, I don't know, a couple years, so, you know, we'll see. Maybe they're gonna actually commit to the bait as opposed to just to steal my tails. You guys see that? Look at that little river rat thing. Just swim right under me. Whoa. I hope you guys saw that on the camera. That was wild. I'm gonna move because I assume Buddy lives right here. I don't want to disturb him or mess up his home in any way. But that was really cool. I have not seen one of those. In a oh yeah, he's right there. He just went through that hole right there. I don't know if you guys saw his little tail, but he's got a little burrow up in here somewhere, I guess. Sweet. Nietzsche. All right, got about an hour left. Just looking for one more fish. Hoping and praying. Maybe a pickerel, maybe a bass. I'll take a bluegill. Hell, I'll even take one of those little water rats that we just saw. I don't care. I just want to feel the tug again and have it not be a tree. Oh my god, I got a fish. Oh, that was the worst hook set in my life. It looks like another bass. Yes, sir, a little guy. But another bass. <laughs> I set the hook and my rod like slipped out of my hand. And I set it like backwards. <laughs> Number three of the day. Just barely got him in the corner of his mouth, but he fell for that gambler. And that's the easy swimmer. So we're gonna end on this little fish right here. I gotta go run home and cook some dinner real quick. So we're just gonna call it a day here, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there's probably gonna be maybe one or two more videos from me being in New York, but uh, for right now, say goodbye to this little fish. Thanks, buddy.